Hello everyone, in this video we will be finding the intervals where the function f of x is increasing or decreasing. Our function is given as f of x is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 1. So the first step here would be to differentiate the function. So let's find out f dash. f dash would be 3x squared minus 12x plus 3. Now we will equate f dash of x to 0 to find out our stationary points to get our stationary points. So stationary points are the points which will change either the function from increasing to decreasing at times if it's an inflection point it would remain the same. So first we equate 3x square minus 12x plus 3 is equal to 0 so we're getting x square minus 12 uh, would be divisible by 4. So 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now the roots of this equation would be minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So b value over here is minus 4, a value is 1 and c value is 1 from our quadratic equations. So the roots would be then minus of minus 4 would be 4 plus or minus 4 minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 ac would be 4 divided by 2 so we're getting 4 plus or minus square root of 12 by 2 12 can be written as 4 into 3 which would be 2 root 3 so we're getting 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 which is going to be 2 plus or minus root 3. Now this is the two stationary points that are defined. So now let's draw the sign diagram for this. The first one would be 2 minus root 3 and then we have 2 plus root 3. So let's check now what is our function's value when the value of the function uh, of f dash is, let's write down f dash, f dash is 3x square minus 12x plus 3. So let's pick a value now 2 minus root 3. Root 3 is 1.7 something. So that means that we we'll, we can pick x as 0. So f dash of 0 is going to give us 3 which is a positive value. So in our sign diagram we can put this as positive. Now let's pick a value between these two values which is um, 2 minus root 3, 2 plus root 3. So I think we can take the value as 2. So f dash of 2 is going to be 3 into 4 minus 12 into 2 plus 3. So 12 minus 24 plus 3, which is minus 9. So we're getting a negative value. And then finally, 2 plus root 3. So maybe 4 or 5. Right, so let's pick f dash as 5. So we'll get 3 into 5 square is 25 minus 20, 12 into 6, 5 plus 3. So this is going to be 75 minus 60 plus 3. 15 plus 3 is 18. So again, it's positive. So wherever we've gotten positive in our intervals, that is the place where the function is increasing. And then wherever we have negative means the function is decreasing. Therefore, f of x is increasing for x less than equal to 2 minus root 3 and x greater than equal to 2 plus root 3 and f of x is decreasing when x lies between the roots which is x is between 2 minus root 3 and 2 plus root 3. So this is how we find our intervals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to my channel and comment what other questions or topics.